Okay, Poverty Inc. It's it's hard to discuss documentaries because the premise is actually fairly simple. <clears throat> You've got the way that the developed world views the third world. Oh, they have no industry, everyone's poor, you know, they're all living in shacks. It, it's an undeniably op oppressing, well, it's, it's partially oppressing, partially depressing view of how these people are living. And then it's always, well, with this fund, you can send money. You can do this. You can do that. Buy a pair of Tom's shoes, because the shoe that you buy now will send a pair of shoes to someone in a foreign country. Poverty Inc. looks at it from the other perspective of, hey, you know what? Um, we have people here who can make shoes. Mm -hmm. When you buy a shoe from Tom's, you think it's a good thing because you're supplying a shoe to someone in this country. We have people who can make shoes. Oh, what we need is money to build the infrastructure so people can have a job so then they can buy our shoes. And all of a sudden it goes from what most people do when they think of a third world country, they donate to, you know, they donate to like a, one of the things you see on TV, it's like, oh, for only 34 cents a day, you can feed a starving child. And then they show the opposite side of it where it's like the microtransaction, the micro loans, where it's you give somebody a hundred dollars, but that hundred dollars allows them to build a small factory, allows them to start employing people, it allows them to start building things. So instead of you sending money to an NGO, the NGO going, this money's gonna go here, 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 and allows all those administrative costs, send the money directly to somebody and allow them actually to do something. So much greater impact. And they show people who are entrepreneurs. It's like, oh, well, that angel was like, oh, we came and did all this stuff. And then we started realizing, well, what if we just gave them the jobs? What's if just giving them something, giving them something to do? And also they show them going from people who are effectively just poor to a, a small working class. And talking with other people who more or less say, yeah, here's what happens. And there's some nice illustrations of, let's say you're someone who has chickens and you have eggs. Well, let's say a country decides, we're going to send a bunch of eggs over here. Well, now all of a sudden, no one's buying my eggs because you're sending free eggs. Next year, you don't send free eggs. Well, I'm out of business because no one bought my eggs. Now, I don't have a job. They don't have eggs. And it was a unique way of looking at it, kind of going, you know what's better off? Instead of sending us all of your food, because if, if we're eating your rice, no one's buying my rice. Send us a little bit of money so I can do a better job with my rice so I can feed people. So it was unique taking the NGO approach and saying instead you're better off with the microtransactions. Good film.